Hello everyone, Vita Day Free Tooth back again with a review of a very interesting set of cards from a Kickstarter project by Ben Vierk. I hope that's how you pronounce it. It's the four point playing cards. This was the original one that came out, and this one was added on on a stretch goal, the mint. And the cards feature, um, they're all drawn by hand, all designed by hand by Ben Vierk. They draw inspiration from the intricate designs of money. Apes and Symbols, Impossible Geometry, and Yoga Mudras, or I hope that's how you pronounce it. Um, front of the boxes, say four point playing cards in the center, and this one says Mint underneath four point playing cards. They have all four pips in each corner, the four points, if you will. As you can see, this one has different pips. And they also feel feature four hands, making uh, kind of a triangle. Uh, which is some kind of a symbol. I'm just not sure what it is, but it's pretty interesting nonetheless. On the side, it says you got the Roman numeral for four, and it says four point playing cards designed in San Francisco, California. You see the famous bridge in San Francisco right there, and made in USA with the US flag and the Yerk, which is his signature, obviously. On the other side, you get some Roman numeral fours. Within this, basically a figure eight, this infinity type artwork, which is a couple of snakes biting each other in the ass, essentially. On the top, it says uh, there's a Roman numeral for 2014. It says uh, Roman numeral for four, and it says first edition 2500 uh, for each one. And it says original deck 52 playing cards, and this one says mint. On it, also if you can't see that. And in the bottom, this says that it was manufactured by United States Point Card Company in early Kentucky, made in USA. And in the back, so see the back design of the cards. Now this is pretty interesting. I don't know if you can tell or not, but these boxes have actually been embossed by hand. There's a little surprise from Ben. He went to the trouble of actually opening every single tough case, taking out the cards in every tough case and then embossing everything by hand which is pretty interesting and very nice of him to do it makes it uh, even more handcrafted and then he put on custom seals as well standard one has a red seal with a tiger diamond type symbol and the other one the same thing except it's green and it says mint on it on the bottom here and there's a Roman rule for 2014 on the top here as well, uh, on the seal. So let's look at these ones. On the flap, you get that tiger logo again. We'll be seeing more of him shortly. And a couple of eyes, I guess like an old seen eye. There's that tiger again on this card. It's kind of a gaff card or an ad card, actually, I should say. It could be used as maybe a joker. And in your back design, simple yet integrate. You got your four points with red dots. A couple of like all seen eyes. The, Triangle, there's symbols, there's some wings in there, all sorts of stuff, and geometry and whatnot. You do get a double backer, which is a gaff card. Here's your back design with the red circles. This one is missing the red circles, so it's a nice kind of a color change gaff card. Double backer. Then you get your jokers. This one says Joker in red, and you see this guy with like a lion head, and it says Fight Tuva around his leg. And the other joker is a skeleton facing the opposite direction. They're facing each other with a crown on his head. And it says death wrapped around his leg. With joker at the bottom instead of the top and written in black. So they're kind of an opposing set of jokers. They oppose each other. Ace of spades, nice. Some wings and triangles within the pip. And also a sword that goes right through from the top to the bottom. And it says... Four point playing cards, San Francisco, California, and 2014 in Roman numerals at the bottom. All the aces in this deck are actually custom. This one has an eyeball and some other details. Ace of Clubs has tentacles or something. I'll see what that one is. And the Ace of Diamonds, a couple of pyramids and diamonds within them. Pretty cool. You'll see more of these in a bit. 
sport cards, they all kind of, I guess, represent or kind of feel like American currency type artwork. There's no suit indicators on them, which leaves a bit of blank space there, which could have been remedied with, you know, the extra pips on there. There's no color on them, just black and white. But kind of like sketches. And then your number cards. Custom pip layouts, custom pips, there's your spades, your hearts, which has like a drop in the center, or a teardrop, or a water drop, whatever. By the way, custom fonts and everything for the numbers. Look at this, it's like a figure eight infinity symbol. That's pretty cool. Here's your clubs, again, pretty custom. And your diamonds, which actually have a little line through them. But I'm guessing it's some kind of a symbol. It is bicycle stock, Ericus and Finis, good quality decks. Good quality artwork. I can't praise the artist enough. I mean, he went the extra mile and did something that no one else has ever done on a Kickstarter deck. He opened up 2,500 decks, 5,000 decks actually, if he got both, and embossed each and every one by hand. Very cool. Although some people might not like the fact that he open up decks that they wanted to keep sealed. I took off the cellophane, but he did reseal them, so nothing too major there. This one, you get the same tiger, except it's silver colors, and the eyes again. The cards have a mint greeny type color. It looks very much like uh, paper money in the US. As you can see, big green tiger. With, he actually has a third eye on his forehead. And he has four points as well, if you look at that. And there's actually silver metallic inks on that. That's pretty cool. The back design, also uh, a money look to it. It has a money color, just like US currency in green. And it does have silver metallic foil, or uh, metallic ink, I should say, around these black circles. You do get a double back again. That's a gaff again. This one is black on one side with white circles. And in this one, you get the back design in green with green circles and silver metallic ink. Joker is the same thing, except this one is in green, the Joker, and this one says Joker in the silver metallic inks. Ace of Spades, you'll see you get the same thing, except it's a lot bigger spade pip, I believe. Indexes, custom pips, and there's no letters for the aces, and the bottom is the same thing and you got this nice silver foil in the background. Or silver metallic ink, sorry. I keep saying foil, it's metallic ink. All the aces have the metallic ink on them. They got the same one as the other deck, except with greenest colors and a lot bigger scale pip. Custom, like I said, pips in the index with no lettering. And hearts and diamonds, as you can see, have green pips, which fits with the theme. Court cards, the same thing. Uh, one thing you may notice is that the indexes on clubs and spades, first of all, you'll notice that they actually have the number or letter within the pip. The other thing you might notice is that they actually have, for the spades and clubs, silver me metallic ink. And then the hearts and the diamonds, they actually just have a green color in that letter. And also, hearts and diamonds have green coloring on the court cards themselves, just like money. Spades and clubs, just kind of black. And you can kind of see that foil right there. It's pretty cool. I'll zoom in again. You know, I'll just oops, quickly skip through some of these because they're the same thing. Number cards, again, custom orientations. They have silver foil in the background. Same index. As the, other, as the code cards with the number within the pip and something else which isn't very clear on some of them but on cards like this one it is silver foil and it actually has a number in the center of the value of the card so four three this one says seven but unfortunately it's hard to see it so it didn't make much sense in doing the pip layout the same because you can't see the numbers there's a ten 
but it's not a bad idea. It's definitely different and interesting. Again, good stock and finished quality. Um, I'm not sure if you can find these at collectibleplayingcards.com as of yet, but you can always check out there and they have a whole bunch of other decks for sale. Using code BTOSA32, you get 10% off your order. Um, or you can try checking out the Twitch player page and maybe they have a link to their website where they're selling them. But anyways, that is the four point playing cards. Really cool. Text of cards. And I'll see you next time.